Hey everybody, it's Mal. And Em. And we are the, the occupants, occupants of the Whistle Pig Palace. Palace. Let us know what you think of that name. We're still working on that. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we realized that we got everybody excited that we were going to make a YouTube channel, and then we didn't. Um, but that was because... Ooh, me. Oh, Bags on my feet. This is Mal didn't want me to mess up the carpet in oh, the old place. <laughs> okay. Um, basically, we got the camber on the road, and it broke almost immediately, and we found out that it was going to take eight weeks to fix. So we ping-ponged around between family and friends friends and airbnbs but we got to see a lot of friends and family that we wouldn't have seen otherwise so we're lining. yeah so we started out in atkinson with m's family and her dad helped us set up so much stuff so this is him helping us put up the pegboards and some more pegboards this is me with elon he's our satellite internet so this is us getting him all ready to go he's been working great ever since and this is foam so we wanted to plush up our beds with foam but it was so hard to cut but also comfortable that's true and then grandma darlene insisted we join her for wine at maryland so see we had some fun in atkinson too wasn't all work <laughs> then we went to sioux city and i love my family so much my brother and his children that i only took this one picture we were having too much fun to take pictures it's oh, undocumented that's a great way to remember <laughs> it we also went to go visit our friends ben and jason in lincoln and this is an amazing photo of their backyard this oasis of a backyard where we just gotta sit out and have some cocktails and look at twinkly lights and then we went to the symphony so jason's choir sang there and so we got tickets Woo! Uh, they have a great dog park. This is Lincoln's dog park. So our dogs loved it. They came back muddy every day. There was a creek, but good time was had by all. And then Jason and Ben told us they got married during COVID and I just took pictures of their charcuterie. <laughs> it was a great spread. It deserved a photo. Yeah. This is, we stayed for a week uh, in Omaha with my Aunt Patty. So this is her office island kitchen. Yeah, great that island place. was freaking great. It was amazing. Oh, and then we had to go back to Fort Collins and Cheyenne to get our camper fixed. Luckily, our Airbnb was still available at Beck and Doug's. 10 out of 10 would recommend our dogs formed a band. That's that photo. But we also got to go out for margaritas, Cinco de Mayo. Um, it ended with Beck testing our reflexes at the house. Her critical. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but she made us dinner. You know, she treated us right. 10 out of 10. It was great. We also stayed with our friends, Melissa and Neil, and they have like a one person hot tub. So we just cuties basking in the sun. really wanted to put those on there, you make our, on there. our ex-boyfriends jealous, you know. Uh, we realized when we went back to Colorado, the thing we missed most was hiking. So we did a lot of that while we were back. When we were there, I wanted to hike Stone Mountain, and that was a stone that I left unturned. Okay. <laughs> so we had to go back and do that. We did eventually summit. These are pictures from our practice hikes. Okay, and that but is this... Warrior 2! <laughs> that's from Cheyenne. That's just the dog park. But I was really excited that we also got to do Horse Tooth, because you can literally see that from Fort Collins. It was a great practice hike. Oh, and this is my favorite picture. This is M. <laughs> there was a B. The B was real. That is not fake. It is real. <laughs> now, this next picture is her trying to, signing the trail register, which is where the B was. And these are my meaty hands. Look at um, them hands. <laughs> so that was the trail register that we signed. I made us make signs because, you know, that's what people do when they hike 14ers. This was not a 14er, but we had signs anyway. Look at that. <laughs> and I probably got a knee sun. <laughs> that white knee is out. <laughs> Look at that view. It's a great view. Uh, we went back to Kansas City, visit with Mal's family for the 4th of July. So we ended up getting an Airbnb. There it is. <laughs> um, ain't it cute? We were within walking distance of so many touristy things, though. Yeah. So this is the top of the World War One Museum. I've lived in Kansas City and I had never been here. And here is Kelty eating Kansas City. Nom, 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 Skyline. <laughs> it was so fun. Um, we also got to go to a lot of parks Look that we line. hadn't been to before. So like Roanoke Park and I think that was Loose Park. Ethiopian. Look at that spread in Jennifer days. We couldn't get Ethiopian food in Colorado. So this was a must. Yes. And we got to spend time with my dad. He went to the World War One Museum with us. And this is us at Casual Animal. That was a cool brewery. And also, this is a miniature museum. So Em always looks at these pictures and she's like, what is that? Well, what is it? It looks like a banquet hall, but that is actually miniature. That is not full size. And that is an architecture classroom in miniature. <laughs> we also got to see our friend Morgan. Hey, Morgan! Morgan, we love spending time with you. It was so cool <laughs> that she was there when we were. Yeah. And then we went to my Aunt Joan's lake house and the dogs got to learn how to swim in the lake mm -hmm. and have this beautiful view every day. Okay, I failed. I didn't put in a map here, but we went down to Tulsa and went on vacation with my fam. And that's my niece, Josephine. Then we had to go back to Cheyenne. We picked up the camper and we hauled it to Shadron State Park, Nebraska's first park. That's where we're parked currently. And now for the tour. Hey, Mel. You're just in time. Time for what? Time for the tour. We're giving them the tour right now? Yes. Oh, uh, I, I was just out hiking Pinecone Butte. 
neighbors got me in a game of bags. How's my hair? <laughs> my, my makeup ready? My camera ready? Well, we're rolling, so it's got to be good enough. All right. Good tour. Hi, y'all. Welcome. Welcome. This is the Whistle Pig Palace. All right. First of all, <laughs> let me introduce you to our roommates who sleep in these kennels under our beds. Shout out to Chad and Carney. Jamie Sickley's fun. He did a great job with these. He's, he's in Loveland. Chad in Loveland. We love you. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, he made these nice kennels for the babies. So this used to be storage, passed through storage, and now it's kennel. So welcome Kelty and our other smaller kennel dog, Marmot. Come here. Oh, there's the babies. And this is Marmot's kennel here. She's got a little comfort. She does like comfort. Here's our quarters. Uh, so we've got two lovely twin beds here. And then, look at this. This is what I installed today. Look at that. If it went all the way across, this would be great. This is a, this is what Mallory thought was nine feet. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna click this eight more times to get shut off. Okay. Now here we've got every outfit we ever own. That's up here in these little cabinets. So see, we've got storage over here if you want to pan. More storage. Woo! Break like my sign. <laughs> <laughs> right here, nice fan. The warm air can come in, a curtain for a bit of privacy, and a fan. I haven't figured out how to get electricity to this, so that's the process we're working on. But soon this fan will blow air. I want to let you know it's a comfortable 72 degrees in here, but when we shut the air conditioner off at night, what we like to do is run the fan for a little air movement. Makes it real nice in here. This is our dinette eatery workspace, so a little bit of everything. Um, we put computers out here we eat here there is good storage under here so it's all of our camping equipment the dogs love it under the table <laughs> just uh, the shit out shout out to neil and melissa for a lovely replica of the whistle tick palace there mm. uh, made out of pearl beads mm -hmm. Anybody, any of y'all do pearl beads all right right here this is our tv i'm gonna call this a 24 inch um we can see it from the beds we can read the subtitles from the beds so that's great <laughs> Uh, also up here, more miscellaneous storage. We've got some Switch games up there. This cabinet, biggest, biggest cabinet in the camper, that is completely full of dog bullshit. Sorry, dog crap. Your grandma's going to see this. This, I know, biggest storage, everything we need for the dogs, that's in there. Mallory, do you want to give them a tour of the toilet? Yes. So here's our toilet room. <laughs> Bathroom we have. It's hard to film in here. We have a nice medicine cabinet full of all of our medicine needs um we do have a sink but we have not used the water in the camper yet um that is our next adventure so right now not using the toilet um but we put up these cool scottises i think you saw pictures of that already scott Shout out to scott osborne yeah, insulation he helped us put these on but then we have these like big deep cabinets that we can put a lot of stuff in so all of our bathroom stuff is in there and then we have our dirty clothes going in that one um we also have a shower with a skylight um but we have my four inch foam and some pillows that we're not using that we're just storing in there i call it emily's hoarder hole um crammy hole. <laughs> hole okay we're turning around back right. to you for the kitchen back to the kitchen We've recently put up all of our magnets on the fridge. This has really given it a homey vibe. So this is what really made it feel like a homey Carlos here. O'Kelly's. Oh, gee. How about that Canyon Lands? Oh, and Doug and Beck's wedding. Oh, yeah. 12 years going strong. Okay, 12 or 11. <laughs> um, but the great thing about this camper is the size of this fridge. Come on out now. Let's show them the size of this fridge. This is a full size fridge. Like, we got groceries for a couple weeks, and they're all in here. Hey, Em, if this doesn't work out, I think you could do camper tours, like, for a living. Great, because I'm looking for some backup work. <laughs> and the freezer keeps ice cold. You know how important ice is out in the heat. So. All right, this is our microwave, also convection oven. This doubles, folks, for the modern convenience, is an air fryer. So, it's great. We love that. This is our cooktop range, our gas stove three burner glass top right here all the pots and pans we'd ever need to make a meal some paper plates for when we do don't have dishes nice under the sink storage deep 
Don't mind its mess. We're going to get that organized. Here's for your sponges. <laughs> Sponge needs. The Pride and Joy. The mayo jar. This is every condiment you'll ever need. Don't believe us, we've used them. <laughs> and plus a lot of sundry other kitchen things. Right here, bags. If it looks like a bag, smells like a bag, it's going to be in this bag drawer. Another fan to blow some breeze. Oh, the sink. The sink, y'all. The sink doubles as a spice storage. For now. We're going to get that remedied, but for now. Brita pitcher. You can tell me how to fit this in that camper fridge. I'm going to need your help. We you tried that. We're working on that. That's another project. Nice fan to blow. This trash can is new. Camper size. Bought at Walmart. Quality. And mom, dad, grandma's family. Always safety first. 